Halloween night, ready to get dressed. It's not gonna be too cold, it's not gonna be too hot, especially my hair that doesn't really like it. So look forward to it. It's gonna be a couple of really fun locations for us. We decided to pre-book a few bars and places because I know personally, speaking from last year's experience, it's gonna be really, really tough to get into bars or clubs. I got my jab done um, uh, like a week ago, so hopefully there is gonna be no problem. For, you, for me getting into a, a, a venue because here in Hong Kong it's mandatory to have at least the first vaccination to, to get in especially somewhere um, after 10 p.m. or um, after midnight I think nowadays it's after 10 p.m. so um, yeah getting ready getting my makeup done and ready to storm out to the streets and um, have fun tonight happy Halloween I'm ready well, it took me like probably one and a half hour to fix my hair, to get the makeup done, and this, I was actually planning what to wear before, so it didn't really take me much time when standing in front of my wardrobe and deciding what to wear. So let's head out and have fun. Oh my god. This is central, Hong Kong central area. I don't know how many people are out tonight. It just looks like close to like a couple of hundred thousand of people. I don't know, and the night has just started. Okay, let's see, now we are part of the crowd. It's almost midnight, but people are still crowding the streets for this parade. We gotta pick the best costume for tonight. Yeah. Well, considering that most of the people are wearing the Squid Game tonight. <laughs> I think it's easy. I think it's easy. <laughs> yeah. game stuff. You got lots of police around. Yeah, yeah. Police on their original. Sure, 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 sure. Yeah, no problem. All right, look at this. I don't know how many people are out tonight. Hundreds of thousands, I don't know. Mask on. You said mask on. Yeah, that's ridiculous. We still have to wear masks. Everyone is vaccinated. Why do we have to wear masks? First of all, the traffic is really slow. There are queues everywhere, literally. To get from one location to another location, which would normally take you, I don't know, five minutes, because everything is so close here in central Hong Kong. It took us like 20 minutes. Um, so that was a bit inconvenient. Um, you had to queue and you had to actually detour and reroute and then walk, 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 walk. 
simply because they put the fences across the streets and they would not really allow you to directly cross the street so they would actually ask you to go all the way around and enter that particular place from its backside. Thing number two, um, everything is overpriced so you end up paying entry fee everywhere and what you end up having at 450 Hong Kong dollars, one drink. Just one drink. Well, luckily, girls, they let us in. They let us in for free. Our boys had to actually pay the entrance fee. And that was sad because in this club, I'm not gonna say which one, we basically went in and we stayed there for not more than 15 minutes. Pretty much because it didn't make sense. It was overcrowded. And I'm not saying like overcrowded, your Friday, Saturday type of crowded clubs. No, I'm saying overcrowded, absolutely to the room. You couldn't literally get into the toilet. So if you wanted to go to the toilet, good luck. Um, what else? Um, ask them uh, uh, for a drink to get us cocktail. They said, look, you have to buy a bottle. So that was a bit funny, uh, like too much, too much, uh, at least for me. So I guess for the next year, I would probably will do the ocean park. Um, although it's not the whole night adventure, but I do understand that they uh, run on extended hours. So until 10 p.m. you can actually enjoy this uh, themed horror night um, setup at the ocean park. In Singapore, they would let Universal Studio run until pretty much, I think until 4 a.m. Yeah, super cool. Time to sleep. Let's see what else we can do in Hong Kong.